more. According to this week's U.S. Drought Monitor status, we are now in the extreme category in some parts of southern Arizona when it comes to our drought. I spoke with National Weather Service in Tucson to find out more. The warm and dry La Nina winter is taking a toll on the Grand Canyon state. Tucson has recorded less than two and a half inches of rain since August, running southern Arizona four inches below normal for this time frame. According to meteorologist at the National Weather Service Tucson, Carl Cerniglia, certain fuel level moistures are even drier than the record setting wildfire year of 2011. The mountains especially are normally expected to re some, at least receive some snowfall and they have gotten very little and that is very detrimental to the trees up there. So with a, a lack of significant rainfall for we're up to almost six months now, we uh, have entered into basically these severe to extreme drought conditions. Cerniglia says if this situation persists, it will only increase the probability for wildfires. Without any additional rainfall or uh, some sort of moisture increase going into the spring, um, spring season that's only going to get drier. What that does is make the fire much more active, burn at a much more intensity, can spread faster and is more difficult to, to suppress and control. So it makes it much more of a challenge for firefighters. I spoke to Captain Andy Skaggs of the Tucson Fire Department, and he says we need to be careful about how fires start heading into the season. He recommends clearing brush that is near your home, getting rid of items that are stacked against your house, and properly discarding cigarettes. While La Nina is starting to dissipate in the eastern Pacific, odds favor warm and dry conditions continuing. I'm Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson.